So what is poor sleep and how do you know if you are struggling with sleep issues? See, poor sleep isn't just about how long uh, you've slept. You could be sleeping for about 7-8 hours and still wake up and feel tired like you've run a marathon. Uh, you wake up frequently during the night. Uh, it takes you more than 30 minutes to fall asleep. You rely on caffeine to stay awake during the day. Uh, you are irritable, forgetful or find it hard to concentrate. You notice physical symptoms like frequent headaches or getting sick more than often. See, if you are going through these signs regularly, uh, like a pattern, it's a sign your sleep quality is not good as it should be. But why does this happen? That's the big question. Sleep is controlled by two main systems. Number one, circadian rhythm. This is your body's internal clock. It regulates uh, when you feel awake and when you're feeling sleepy, based on the cues like light and darkness. Uh, think of it as your natural schedule for sleeping and waking up. And number two, sleep-wake homeostasis. Your brain tracks how long you've been awake. Think of uh, it like an empty balloon. Uh, when you wake up in the morning, the balloon is always empty. As the day goes on, every hour you are awake adds more air to the balloon. By the time it's night, the balloon is full and your body signals, okay, it's time to release the air and rest. This pressure is what makes you feel sleepy. It's called your sleep drive. Now, if you nap during the day, it's like letting some air out of the balloon early. So at bedtime, there is less pressure and you might not feel as sleepy. Uh, and for people who fall asleep easily, these systems are in harmony. Like their brain releases enough melatonin, the sleep hormone, and when their body signals it's time to rest, they fall asleep naturally. But for those who are struggling with sleep, these systems are disturbed. Uh, there are three major reasons. Uh, one, they have high levels of stress and this stress activates the amygdala, the emotional center of the brain. It makes them feel anxious and alert when they should be relaxing. Number two, their prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for logical thinking and decision making, it struggles to quiet down, especially if they are overthinking or worrying about the day. Number three, a blue light from screens, irregular sleep schedules or environmental factors can suppress melatonin production. So it could make it harder for them to fall asleep. And there could be various other reasons like mental health disorders, biological, psychological and social factors. So if you're struggling with poor sleep, how can you fix it? You need to build habits that will help you fix the factors that have disturbed your sleep hygiene. In the next video, I'll talk about the 10 habits that will fix the root causes and help you sleep better.